Hey. You gotta move, George. We still had ten seconds. No, we didn't. That was that was the end of it. You gotta let me oh, out, man. That was delayed. Yeah! Show start! Now. <laughs> it's hurting me. Oh, man. Okay, let me get settled here. Cramped quarters, bro! Alright. Can you move that leg in? You're too spread eagle oh, with me here. It's just making me uncomfortable. Oh, get out of my way! Okay. There you go. Jeez, man. Uh, like, cram up in here, man. Woo! Get it, girl. Hello, hello, and welcome. Welcome, welcome to Insert Coin Theater. I am host numero uno, Tim. And the other guy has to get his get his crap together here. I'm number two. I'm George. Yes, you are number two. <laughs> hey. <laughs> and, uh... You're not going to introduce this yourself? This is a person. Rocky, I guess. That's me. She's joining us, and she's going to be handling and fielding all of your questions and whatnot. And fielding? Possibly. Yeah, fielding. It's a word. Don't it, ask. It is a word. It's a word. So she's going to be fielding the the messages and whatnot. Let's get these open. I'm problems. I got, we got problems. Our, our monster rehabs. Again, we're not paid by them, though. Monster, you could sponsor us. Just, I would just want some free monster. So, uh, welcome to the show. We are a games discussion podcast coming at you from Florida. Live from New York. It's, no, no. <laughs> are we from New York? I don't know. So, we are uh, We're going to be talking some, some video games. Vidja Games, man. Vidja Games. I, sound, and, I feel um, like that's probably a game on Facebook. So before we Vidja get started game. this week, I wanted to uh, let you know simulator. that next week we are going to have the... <laughs> For grandmas everywhere. <laughs> exactly. <Yeah. laughs> We're going to have the ever-talented Ben Burns, a.k.a. Abstractions. Burns. Abstraction. Not, there's no plural there. Abstraction. Sorry, Ben. And God, uh, you're just disgracing. <laughs> I am it's really, I'm a disgrace. really unfortunate. I'm a disgrace to the universe. So he is going to be joining us next week via via Skype slash TeamSpeak, and he was our first guest on the show, actually, way back when. We're coming full circle, man. We're coming full circle, because we're actually going to be trying to kick off getting more guests on the show, a.k.a. my wife, on the show as we go along. Um, so we're, you know, doing... <laughs> Uh, the, the drink has me <laughs> salivating, dude. Oh, has me salivating. What was that? <laughs> <laughs> like a pig uterus or something. Man. It was disturbing. <laughs> and we're going to be working on getting more guests on the show. We're really excited about that. <laughs> Screw you, George. <laughs> I feel and like you just screwed my ears, man. It's weird. <laughs> feel violated. <laughs> it's, it's what I do. Sound like some s'mores. <laughs> I don't want to say anything in front of baby ears here, but... <laughs> But it rhymes with some more. <laughs> so we're sorry about that. <laughs> yeah, you are sorry. Back on track. We never get on track. You can't keep <laughs> this train on the tracks. What are you talking about? This train has been derailed since day fourteen or whichever ben, I started on. Ben, episode seven. Yeah, Ben Burns got on the show and everything just went to heck. I blame Ben. And we're bringing him on the show next week. Woohoo! That's we're gonna try to realign the tracks next so week. So we're we're very excited to have him on the show. Sometimes. It's gonna be awesome. He's gonna talk with us about games. Uh, he's a he's actually a musician who has done music for indie games. A game called The Maker's Eden, part one and now part two. I feel like I have to turn so much to see you now. I'm not used to this. Well then you pivot a little me. more. But then I yeah, there you go. I'm just gonna look <laughs> at Caitlin now. At least it's better. Oh your ugly <laughs> mug. <laughs> yeah, the, you gotta, you gotta be like facing I gotta, the I gotta camera move this though, over to the be side like because like I'm all, I'm all blocked and whatnot. This is crazy. You just move, move this part up more, up a little further. We can still see your face a little further. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna beat you. All right, so we're gonna, we're gonna be talking a little bit about some. Uh, Game. This is called the about sheet. We're gonna be, it's got what we're yeah, talking about. Our about sheet. We actually use real paper. We were talking about game genres a little bit, game topics, kind of blending the two. It's a weird word, genre. Yeah, well, it's it's French. It's fun. Is it's it French? Can you prove fun that? Fun fact, it took me almost sure. 17 years to learn how to say that correctly. Yeah, you used to say genera. Yeah, among <laughs> other fun things. Dang, why did I never get to hear that genera? <laughs> that I hilarious. feel like I could have rode that train for a while. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Every time I heard her talk about it, I'm just like, a what? Uh huh. Is it generic? Or it. generic? <laughs> a game generic? What? The thing. The thing. Those were game. Nintendo a game, game thing. Day. That was ET. So we're going to talk generic. about game genres. 
Yes, it is. It is French. Les le bon temps roulé. What? what did you just say? Let to the me? good times roll, man. God, and we're gonna I talk to you so French right now. Thank you. I, we're gonna <laughs> George. That was that's glorious. all I got. <laughs> Lovely, dude. You're Cuban. Speak Spanish like a proper Cuban. I'm full blown French, man. <laughs> <laughs> Can't you tell? I don't know. What's, what's a French trait? I don't know. I eat cheese. That's Drink wine. <laughs> Sorry to the French, but I really am. So. Yeah, and you're the worst. But cheese is good. <clears throat> I like cheese. Cheese is good. So, and we're also going to talk about game mechanics. Game Oh, mechanics. God. Oh, we're back at it. We're back at it. All the time. Kill me. All right, so why don't we start with, with what game genre and or game topic. We'll take this out as long as we can. Milk this for dry. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> What do you want to see? What do you want to see less of in Call games? Like, <laughs> that's not a genre, dude. You yes, want to see less? I feel like it is yes, now. It is. It like is a it genre. Is. You say Call of Duty, and everyone knows exactly what you're talking about. Yeah. It's not a genre, though. There's a lot of games similar, but okay, it's a genre. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Just embrace it. There's no point in fighting it. So, so why why less Call of Duty? Because there's too many. <laughs> They're all very similar. They're that's, all the same game. That's a great See, I wasn't fifteen gonna say of the it. same game. That's games. a great meaningful reasoning you have, George. Actually, let's just go back. I want more less Call of Duty now and more World at War Call of Duty. Okay. World so War like, Two or So one. you want less modern combat and future combat type stuff like I do. Yeah. yeah. Go there back you to go. The history. That's exactly. not just blanket stating Call of Duty. I just want to use muskets. <laughs> Let's go George back to Civil priorities. War and just... <laughs> and you really have to, like, take the time to reload the musket every now. <laughs> it's like 20 Imagine minutes. Imagine how gameplay would... The pacing would be in a game like that. That would be... Like, you got be, your one shot, and if you don't make it, you're you're going to be running for a while trying to... It's just like a Civil <laughs> War game. <laughs> <laughs> Minecraft C says hi. Oh, hey. Hey, how's, how's it going? going? Thanks for hanging Thanks for out. Joining. Appreciate it. Feel free to drop Mine us any... crap C? Is that what it was? Is that what it is? Like, C-R-A-P crap? Yeah. Uh, gotta make me read it. Mine crap C. I like okay. It. So is it accurate? It's crap C? It's a good crap uh, use of E. Lots of E's. Yeah. Thing. Solid Cripsy. use of E. Crap C. Crap C. Anyways. I'm pour out some more for my homies. <laughs> Reggie, do you have one that you want to see less of? A topic or... A topic? Mm. I said topic or genre. Topic of game? Yes, like zombies or oh, like a theme? zombies, not so a theme. genre. It was just a topic theme. was a topic. Like, it's like what we're going to talk theme. about, not what. It, you're just wording so you're bad today. I I know you're English proper. <laughs> English. Me no speak. God. <laughs> okay, theme. What theme? You sure it's not you. topic? Are we sure? <laughs> I've killed people for less in games. <laughs> Kill so, people for free in games. <laughs> <laughs> Genre or topic? You said topic you again. Know, I, I don't Theme! <laughs> F! God, I, man! I think the game is pretty... Uh, got a Jesus. wide variety of genres right now. Me. I think the only thing that I personally would have a problem with is the like shovelware type things. Games just to have games to make money and not to do anything with. So like cash grabs? Oh, yeah. yeah. So cash grabby, like tons of microtransactions. Oh, just... Microtransactions make my heart angry. Just makes me want to kill. Tons of unnecessary makes me DLC. Want to murder things. It's the worst. God, why didn't you? Just, we already bought the game, man. Just give us the game. No. Like I missed the times when games came out, and that was the whole game. I, I remember miss, that. I miss the days the, like Whiz Bang the, in '68. <laughs> I miss the PC gaming where it was like expansion packs. Oh, those were the days. And the expansion man. packs were like a they whole game. They were huge. Too, yeah. They were massive. They were just gigantic, and now they're just so. Piddly and, and we. Piddly. Like, we lads. Piddly skiddly. We babbies. Yeah, was that the game? Or sad. I was like, I feel like that could have easily been a nipple that you were going for. <laughs> 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 Are you going for the audience's nipples again, Recky? Stop it. That's they we, might that's enjoy it. That's how we get the views, man. <laughs> it's not that kind of Nipple show. grabs. Oh, you don't know. You haven't been on the show very much. <laughs> <laughs> we wish it could be that kind of show. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be a whole different demographic, though. Well, that's after dark, right? <laughs> yeah, that needs to ICT happen. ICT after hours. That needs to happen. <laughs> I just want there just be, like, so much nudity. We really won't even be talking. It'll just be slideshows of nudity. No, I, th I think we would just be naked. <laughs> 
<laughs> then our views are going to go way, way down. Oh, we'll pull in views. Maybe if I like cover myself in like gravy or something. <laughs> all right, all right. Oh, that jello from your there. We go. Like, yeah, the episode. Japan crate grape jelly. I'll just squirt it out of my nips. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Uh, you're brilliant. I hate. Grape. I think you could. God, make, I hate. Grape. I think you could make Japanese television. <laughs> Spot on, man. That's about Why right. have I not been doing that? That's a great question. Is that Probably like a big not. thing? Fat guy smelling grape jelly. Because if that is, I'm all in. And it I'll could be rich. a thing. I could have easily <laughs> imagined it being a thing over there. You wouldn't be surprised if you went over there and like there's some guy covered in grape jelly, just right? Full bore naked, right? That's interesting. <sighs> kind of weird and makes me sad. Oh yeah. Owen Love says, Jello! Jello, <laughs> as yes. long as it's not grape. <laughs> Grapes for Satan. <laughs> George loves grape jello. Don't don't let him lie to you. He loves it. If you think I love it, go back to the last he says, episode. That is and a great idea. Me. Are we talking about Satan jello or George <laughs> naked covered in jello? <laughs> Neither. Dressed as Satan. Oh. Combine the love of both. Exactly. See, Are you, you sure you don't make other? Japanese television? <laughs> 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 oh man. You spot on, man. <sighs> So, Tim, yeah. what topic, I mean theme... theme. I mean you... topic, I mean genre. <laughs> I'm not going to speak you... anymore. <laughs> do you want to see... The monster uh... hasn't kicked in yet, man. Do I'm you still... want to see less of? What do I want to see or less, less of? of yeah. See, I, you've got me so derped out, I don't even know what I'm talking about anymore. <laughs> you know, That was unfortunate. <laughs> <laughs> you know, overall, I'd like to see less... I'd like to see less mobile games... Well, mobiles aren't even really games. Uh, but okay. it, it is. Well, well, I mean, <laughs> well that's a discussion are, right there. Yeah, that's a whole other discussion right there that we could get into if you really want to. No, but let's, let's leave that. That might I'm take a little more to be research part of than I'm willing to put in for this show. <sighs> I never have devices strong enough to even play the latest mobile games. because no, you always have, like, phones from 1912. Yeah, exactly. My phone still runs Flip on phone. fossil fuels. It's like... I have to take a lighter to, to it to start it, it up every time. <laughs> yeah, a little, get the <laughs> little mm. pistons going. <laughs> but I feel like there are so many solid game ideas out there that they're trying to shoehorn into to mobile that would make really solid like desktop games if they really fleshed them out. Give me an example. Like Clash of what is it? Clash of Clans and things like that, where where it's like a like a management sim game, but they want so you it's to, like like an RTS, almost? a little bit, but it's like an asynchronous RTS. I mean, it'd be a really cool idea, and I know that it's available on like web browser and stuff, but I'm talking like with actual like graphics a full bore, and, yeah, where flushed out game. I, I'm not a big fan of the microtransactions behind it, so don't get me wrong. There, I hate microtransactions, but if I feel they, like there's no. I mean, games mobile like, game that doesn't have microtransactions uh, now. Fallout Vault now. So uh, it does have it microtransactions, but... But it's not the same as, like, when they have a counter that you only get so many lives and they have to wait time or pay. Wait mm, time, right. you know? That's what, what you, are only the transactions you only buy for? booster packs to get better, so like, randomly get... Pay, yeah, you can play the game as much as and you like. And you can get booster okay, packs so by it's just like playing. Okay, so it's random, then. Like, you yes. were talking about, like, with the cards, and yes. then the same thing with Mass Effect. How it's like, it's, you have a chance to, me, to get something To me, it's good. the way to do it right. It's similar to how Dirty Bomb does it, where you can pay into it if you want, but you don't have yeah, to. So you're not necessarily going to be right. amazing from buying Correct. the content. You're so just going to pretty much have a better chance. And what's, what, why I know that it works is because... Shut up! <laughs> Don't draw attention to him. Why it works is... I mean, it's proven that it works. Easy there, slugger. It's, they want to scrape this again. <laughs> it's proven that it works because they made $5 million in the first week. What are we talking about? Off of Fallout Shelter. Oh, Fallout Shelter. Yeah, also free <laughs> to play a game. Mine's not. Oh, and Love says 50 Fallout. Shades of Stormtrooper shirt. You know it. Look at that, oh, man. Yeah. Draw attention to it. I like the confused one. Yeah. I like the happy one. He looks happier. Yeah, yes he does. I think they all look the same. That's because you're insane. Well, that's because you don't know Star Wars like I do. Yeah. You see how there's the a truth. slight it's variation the in the nose? That's yeah. how you know he's sad. This okay. one has a little... Behind the mask, he's smiling. That's what Consider counts. Consider me schooled. You've, that's right. Oh, schooled. Do you hear those bells he ringing? Does someone just got schooled? Oh my god, that was no. awesome. <laughs> <laughs> that was awesome. You hear those bells ringing? Someone just got schooled. Yeah. Why did you do it in the sensual voice? What? What, Why, is, what that was that? is that my voice? I feel like that I, was what David? he was going for. I, I think we should not do that ever again. Ever. It's been cut off. Did you hear that ringing? 
Or it could be Elvis. That, yeah, that's the Elvis. That's what I was going for. I feel like Elvis's voice is pretty sensible. I'm sorry. He is the king. <laughs> Jeez. I know I was so out of place here. God. You're an idiot. <laughs> I'm an idiot? <laughs> yes. You are a massive He's idiot. He's the fucking king, man. <laughs> he oh loves sandwiches with bananas and bacon. <laughs> right? Is so, that it? So, George, oh. game theme genre topics Topic theme that genre. Uh, you want to see more of. I think we've gone over this, but we should I'm, recap it just because why not? That I want to see more of cooperative games. Yeah, like couch co-op, <laughs> like old. Anything. Not so much couch co-op Freaking because anything. if that were the case, me and Tim would never play games together because this right. is the only time we see him and we never get to sit down. So, but story co-op games, not co-op games to where it's, you have the main story and then there's like side mission. Like a totally different, just like few missions that are co-op. I want the actual game from the beginning to end to be co-op. Right. To actually feel out the whole story with your, your I, buddy. I, rather I, I than... can get behind that. Uh, that's definitely like, one of those things. Like Splinter Cell. Awesome, fun co-op. But Some of the like older ones, se- though. Not, yeah, but not I mean, the more recent ones. It was like... It was like separate little like five missions that were just purely co-op. If you got to play the whole thing co-op, like that whole story... Well, I think it was like the latest, no, not the latest one, maybe the one before the last one where he was kind of like going rogue trying to save his daughter or whatever, and he wasn't yeah. like really uh, working. That would have been so much fun to play with somebody. Oh, yeah. That would have been nice. Because I mean, it was a little more gritty. And and we're not we're not talking like like cooperative competitive. No, God, no. We're just talking. Never scores. We're just talking I hate that. cooperative missions. Like a cooperative, cooperative story. Like, yeah, story. Full, yeah, just the main sure. game, if you wanted to, you could play with somebody else. Yeah, definitely. Like Borderlands does. What does uh, Owen Love say down there? Um, he says he has a brother. He's into Star Wars a lot, where he's into Warhammer 40k. Hmm. Yeah, uh, I'm I'm into Star Wars a little unhealthily, I think. A little. Yeah, I'm. He yeah. baselines Star Wars <laughs> in the bathroom. I smash it up into <laughs> into fine powder and boil it on a spoon. <laughs> on the other side of the camera is nothing but stormtroopers. Yeah, yeah, yeah like, pretty much. Yeah, it's about right. It's disgusting. <laughs> I think it's awesome. I, I dress up as a hobby, as a, as a sand trooper. I'm sorry. I, I'm not. I love it. We can I'm get in the 500 help. first leave. We can get what? you help. Which is a costuming club, which is awesome, and you should look it up, because they go to a lot of conventions and a lot of events and raise char- charity monies. Raise charity monies? Raise charity monies. Like money. street racing for money? <laughs> that yeah. sounds... I would we, go to that, We get into, we get into armor. Just in like we get on motorcycles. Cars like speeders and, and stuff. Yeah, right? and just... Brrr, and then the winner gets, like, Pink slips and ten million dollars for their charity of choice. Uh, hello, that sounds like the best thing in the world. Why I should write Japanese TV. Wait, what? Wait, are they in this pod racing? <gasps> now this is pod, pod racing, racing for money. Oh my god! <laughs> George looks absolutely excited. I'm so excited, oh dude. I'm so excited. I want to see another pod racing game, dude. For remember N64 Pod Racer, best racing game in the world. Yeah, that was a good racer. I need to see. I want to see that on PS4. The, yeah. the Jstrom asks, um, in Star Wars, wasn't spice a drug? It was, yeah. They it, they called it, they, they were spice runners, and I think that was like, it covered a whole bunch. Are they like huffing cinnamon? What are they doing? <laughs> well, it covered a bunch of different stuff. I think stuff. for um, kids' sake, they couldn't come out and say, these are drugs. So it's they a full like, board There's cocaine. Spice. You want to buy some death sticks? Yeah. You don't want to sell me death sticks. I don't want to sell you death sticks. You he want to go home and rethink your life. All I want to go home and rethink long. my life. No? Is it sad that I have no idea what you're talking about? <laughs> no, it's not. Most okay. right. most people don't. Like, because that was just. <laughs> I couldn't tell if that was made up or if that was really from something. Like, the Jstrom says, "Sweet, sweet nutmeg." Mm, do not oh, yeah. do the cinnamon challenge. It's a bad idea. Do not do that. Do <laughs> not do that. This is not oregano. <laughs> <laughs> Gonna get oh high gosh. off that cinnamon. 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 What? <laughs> Did I confuse you? Yes. We're, too, we're too deep in the spice game right now, man. We need to get out of here. We're too deep. The cops are coming. Run! Exactly. I'm like afraid of... Get into those smuggler compartments. I feel like at any second you're going to pull out a spice bin and you're going to be asking us to huff it. I got spices. Oh, God. I can't believe I said that on, on National live Twitch. National television. National television. National what, what nation know. is <laughs> All of them. Us. We're Worldwide. streaming live from Korea. <laughs> Everybody loves us there. Recky, what, what theme topic? Um, theme genre. Game, genre, theme, theme or genre? Topic. Do you want to see more of? 
I will punch you. Games, oh, top, both theme, of theme, you. Topic, topic. Recky, theme. you're not welcome back on the show. <laughs> This is your first I just got fired. <laughs> your first and last appearance, Caitlin. You're dead. Uh, you're dead to me. Um. Get the cream corn chips. <laughs> <laughs> the cream corn puffs. God. Oh, it makes me sick thinking about those. I mentioned this earlier sprinkle in one the pre-pre show or whatever. Pre-pre. I like um, pre, pre. the older point and clicks. I think that seeing some more of those would be pretty... Pretty fun. Like the old style, specify because you were confusing the. Crap now is it out topic or theme? It's, a, it's genre. <laughs> genre <laughs> topic, genre, theme, or point topic and click. theme. That's what I don't think is. I've ever played a point and click game in my whole life. Did you like Mist? I'm a little young for that. Oh, ouch! It's we were a two year difference, and I played Mist. It was like 1990. Well, that's because you're a real my gamer. My first uh, video game uh, true. console <laughs> was the, the PS1, not the big gray one, but the little tiny white one. So you're not a real the gamer. The tiny <laughs> white one. My, my, I remember those, too. My father too. didn't even like TV, so the fact that I got... Did you live in prison? What basically. was this? Soviet Russia. Oh, okay. so it was yeah. Soviet Where PlayStation Russia. plays you. Mm, indeed. <laughs> <laughs> We all shared one TV her, 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 in the communal living her room. Her mom went out and b- bought her a, a play box, which is like, you know, those generic ones that have like 20 preloaded games. And oh, it's like, that it's is like Pong sad. And exactly. <laughs> it's just like 12 versus Pong. You just cover and, your um, screen with a It's a uh, Ridge field. Racer. Fun fact, oh, the actual reason, the only reason I got a game console in the first place was because my parents were divorcing and my mom wanted to make my dad angry. <laughs> That was the Sounds of my like video so game life. it sounded like you profited. From yeah, that you one. won. You Yay. won. That's like the one case where divorce worked good. <laughs> you know, you got a free I, console. Out I of didn't it. get a console when my parents. You divorced. just got spanked. <laughs> Wait, what? You did this, Tim. <laughs> George. I'm not supposed to talk about that. Oh, sorry. Uh. <laughs> no, I didn't spank you. They spanked. <laughs> Owen Love says, "Nah, you want more henty games?" Which I'm sure was trying to be hentai. Mm, who doesn't want more I hentai love the games? Henty games depends mm. on visual novels for the win. Too bad you can't. Too bad you can't stream most of them. Because of TOS or yeah, Twitch won't let you. Honey Pop? Nope, it's out. That's because I feel like I feel like the chat would just spiral. Do I see somebody said giant enemy crab? That was the J Strong. Hit the weak point for massive damage. What? Oh my god, you're not a gamer either. I'm surrounded by I'm not even. I'm not even sure. I got that reference. I got that reference. Oh, you got it? Yeah. All right, you're a gamer. George, you're not. Get out. Why why are we gatekeeping? That's not gatekeeping. Mm, What? what, I want to know what that was. I'm confused. What's the weak point of the crab? The giant. All right, so let me explain it for those who may not know. Baby Town over so here. Let me know. <laughs> one of the uh, one of the E3 press conferences um, for was it Konami? I think it was Konami um, or Capcom. I apologize. So if see, I got, you don't even really know. Up. So you're not a gamer. It's, it's been all a while lies. since I watched it, but I do distinctly remember they're like like they kept going like Ridge Racer when they were introducing Ridge Racer, and then they were talking about this game where they were like. Oh, we're we're doing this historically accurate game based with historical, yeah, based on Japanese history. And they're like, the and they're like, this. and then they're like, and they're like, and now look at this giant enemy crab, and it's this massive crab. <laughs> it's did the game <laughs> ever come out? Yeah, I think it did. I don't remember what game it was. It was a while ago. So I probably this was like two thousand. Deleted it. And then they're like, horrible. and then they were like, mm. hit the weak point for massive damage. <laughs> it was what? it was classic. It was so good. Oh, my good. God. Thank God so I don't good. remember that. That's just uh, one of those things you delete because it was horrible from your brain. No, it was great. It was classic, dude. You never classic. forget Giant oh Enemy gosh. Crab. Never forget Giant Enemy Crab. Never giant forget. Enemy Crab lives on the through us. reminds us it was a PS3 launch title called Genji. Oh, Genji. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you very much. God, it was that. So it wasn't really that long ago. I guess we're talking ago. about... Uh, First video games. Oh, okay. Owen Love says his first video game was Bionicle Heroes, and he still has the disc. Bionicle Heroes. That was. That's like. Are we talking like Lego Bionicle? Yeah, yeah. That's what Bionicle is, dude. What that's what I just that? said. I was making sure that's what we're talking about. And I'm letting you know Tim, you're an idiot, George. But accurate. <laughs> I'm an accurate idiot. Accurate idiot. What was your first game, Tim? My first. Geez. Um. That's a hard question. Um. We like to ask the hard ones around here. My first game that I owned 
What's your first experience with video games? My first experience with Jesus. That's okay, a hard question. Jesus was your first experience with video games? What were I you believe, doing? I believe that. His family. Your dad's like bringing you into church class with a Game Boy. Basically. I'm trying to think. The first meaningful game that you... The that first really, meaningful? Really impacted you and said, That hey, made you be like, games are amazing. A while. Um, it I would, need this in my life. It would be when I used to sneak into my brother's room and play uh, Shining Force on the Genesis. You snuck into your brother's room. His brother was mean and course. didn't let him have anything. Yeah, um, because... What do you mean, was? They still are. <laughs> right. Well, yeah. They don't share He well. also stole my Pokemon cards and sold them to a pawn shop. Oh, my God. <laughs> and didn't He's tell me. mad. <laughs> well, because my brother brings it up all the time. Still mad. I am a little mad. You should just stab him I with a knife. The, I had a, a mint foil Charizard card. No. We're gonna and be he here sold it. To no. Started. Yeah. It was BS, man. I'd kill somebody for that, dude. I, I know, and you know what? My brother's lucky that I'm not a spiteful person. In your week? <laughs> <laughs> and he's got these nice noodly arms. Oh, shit. Oh, man. Whew. You have the body of a squirrel? Is that what? <laughs> Pretty much. God. Man, George, what was your first meaningful gaming experience? I the first meaningful experience for me was I didn't really I didn't even get to play it, but uh, my, a cousin of mine, his name Suman. Was it yes, Mario? that's his real name. I think it was actually Metroid. Ooh, very nice. It's hard. It's I NES? barely can remember or what SNES. even console it was on. I just remember sitting. I I used to have like this um, it was like a furry bear chair. I'm real little. All a, right, a what furry bear chair. A furry bear yeah, chair. Yeah, it looked like a bear. You said furry bear share. And yeah, I'm I like, no, bears. I was the not crap. watching Care Bears, okay? <laughs> why, are you, why are you sharing bears <laughs> with somebody? It was somebody? a brown bear, all right? It was dangerous. <laughs> furry bear, it was like brown a little, bear. It looked like a bear. It was a little chair, and I would just sit and watch him playing. I'm pretty sure it was Metroid, but I can't fully <laughs> remember. But he was just going at it, man, and I was just like, what is happening? This is amazing. He's making this person do things. I, I want to interrupt and say, um, you would watch guys going at it. Yeah. <laughs> at Sorry. least there was a naked girl behind the robot suit, sure. all right? Um, zero suit, bruh. She's not naked. Idiot. She was naked. If you put in up, up, down, down. W twelve. You, you would know that. <laughs> you got to see shark. the one pixel nipple on there. <laughs> oh, so idiot. So so bad. <laughs> but yeah, so I was watching him, and then that's when I realized this is amazing, and I want to do this forever. And then it ruined my life. <laughs> what is a uh, stuck in this? What does life. Owen Love say down there? He says I have over forty different bionicles at my mom and dad's loft and in my granny and granddad's house and over two thousand spear pieces. I don't know what that is, but it sounds kind of impressive. That yeah, I'm impressed. I don't know what it means. I like either, spear but... pieces. That sounds dangerous. <laughs> pieces of spears or whole spears that are in. Like is I he collect... constructing pe- spears this at his guy, granny's this house? This guy's like I collect spears. That's his hobby. I collect spears. That's kind of sweet though. I'd I'd be I friends with spears. you. I'd like to build spears <laughs> at my granny's house. Granny, I'm building a new spear. That's nice. Can I chase you down in the dog? Spear. It worked. No, 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 It was a regenerating spear. He lives better. Oh, for God's sake. My dog is annoying me. I apologize. Hey, you're dead to me. Behave, you obnoxious oh, little. Now, now we got the whole armada. Just let him get in here. We got here. the whole armada. They're like shaking the table and stuff. This one's licking my toes. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry like, about hey, that. The dogs were like, sitting at the door whining. <sighs> she's gonna shove hey, her head right in this little crack. Hey, thanks Wait, for the follow. follow. Yeah. yeah, awesome. Ch- it. You like that? Yeah, much yeah. better. I was, I was shocked. I was just much about better. To yeah, it'll, it'll say in the, in the stream. I, I who, know. Who, who Nahu who was. 0117. Oh, right, Nahu 0117. Thank you so You're much. You're gonna for the see follow. my hand moving under the table. It's, it's a dog. A dog. <laughs> <laughs> Olaf says he can't spell. It's the middle of the night. Where where you at, man? What's it's the middle of the night? It's the middle of the night. Um, UK. Just guessing. Anyways, I'm not gonna guess because huh? I'll just embarrass no, myself. No, Olaf, don't test it on your pu- granny's pug. No, <laughs> do it. Do it. Alone. It's the only way to be accurate. <laughs> it's the only way to really know how good your spear is. It's the only is. way to really know. If it one shots it, then you know you got a good quality spear I tote, here. I towed 360 no scope <laughs> from my granny's pug. <laughs> from down the hall with my spear. 420 blaze it. 420. What? 360 no scope. For, what is the you don't play enough shooters. Oh my, can you not sit on my cord, a Get up. 
Get up. Yes, he says he's in the Hey, new get up. Cheers. Thanks for joining us. Appreciate it. I almost it. ripped my whole thing out. Derp Sorry that it's the middle of the night. <laughs> but shout out to the UK. Shout out. Hoo da hoo. Hoo hoo. Yay. Is that how you shout out to the UK? Whoa. Easy zero. Easy. Things are getting like crazy up under here, man. I'm going to have to put it down. <laughs> like Where's dog? your spear? No, no, no. Send us a spear. No. I'm going to have Send to test out, out your spear George, quality. Before your spear is the dog. Send dog, get out. I'm, out. My violence meter is going up quickly. Get out. Get out. Go. Everybody out of the room. Why Go. is it so dumb? It just does, cannot she. understand simple. It's a she. Zero <laughs> is a she. You do not refer to dogs as it. Rude. Not cool, bro. Too late. I can't go back <laughs> to it. All right. So just, she just walks just, in here and sits down. God. I'm gonna kill it. I'm gonna kill all of it. Go. Let's force out. her out. Go. Get out. Go. Go. We're having technical Thank dog. Problems. Sorry. Yeah. Technical, technical dog difficulties. Dog difficulties. See, at least Ash oh, is just quietly underneath my chair. He's just hanging out. Ash is way too big to be under your chair. You're mean to Ash. <laughs> He's big enough to sit under there. Okay. He's not okay. that big. <laughs> all right. God, man, you're so all right. Rude. So. Can right, we get Hawk, back to the Hawk is staying here. Bye, guys. No, ugh, ugh, yeah. Can we get back to the like the topic slash theme at hand? <laughs> theme. We, I thought topic it just spiraled out into <laughs> killing dogs with spears. I thought that's what we were down to now. Oh it just went went to heck in a handbasket. Oh, Owen Welcome Love to Insert Coin Theater. <laughs> Owen Love says the correct way to give a shout out to the UK is to get a mug of tea and lift them all at the same time and say tally ho. This is actually a uh, wait 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 Monster Rehab has tea in it. So I energy iced. P. I mean T. So um, what what did he say to do? Raise the mugs and then say what now? Tally ho. Tally, Tally ho! ho! There we go. To England. <laughs> to the UK. Oh, I'm dribbling. To the UK. All of our friends over in the UK. Anyways, <clears throat> so now that we've gotten our shenanigans out of the way. Can you move the stupid thing? <sighs> don't call my phone stupid. It's smarter than you. I need you. this elbow spot. Idiot. So anyway. I can do this. So what what game mechanics are you tired of? Why do I always have to go first? I don't Somebody know. Will have to go first because you're sitting on that side of the table. That's why. <laughs> yeah, I we go clockwise. He's at the head of the table. The head. Should I'm go asking first. the questions here. That's true. He is asking the question. I ain't going first. So I made up these ideas. You didn't make up all those ideas. We did that together, George. Who did who? Game mechanic. Call of Duty. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not a real fan of the real time. Like you send your people out on missions, and then it takes like actually two hours for them to come back. Mm. Like, like we're uh, talking Assassin's Creed Assassin's style. Assassin's Creed and uh, Dragon Age Inquisition had some of those, and it's just like like actual you know, real time. I'm not really because it kind of breaks the immersion. It's like because you're playing in this game world. This guy where where a day clock. is like 20 minutes, right. and and, and then you're like you got to spend send them out five hours, and then it's an actual thing. timer for five hours of real time. Yeah, okay. I'm not. I'm not a real yeah, fan. Yeah, it's a of long mechanic. journey, guys. <laughs> it's weeks in their time. It's months, years, even. Yeah, no, I'm not. A, not a fan of that. <sighs> what about you, Tim? What about me? What about me? Geekster D E says greetings from Germany. Hey, ah! hey to Germany. How's it going? Thanks for showing. Uh, yeah, thanks for and coming to hang out. We appreciate the, it. In, uh, Getting visiting? worldwide up in here. Um, we're bringing everyone together. Yeah, it's like we're Black all friends. we're all friends here. We all love games. It's all that matters. I don't love games. Oh, get out! I'm leaving. GTFO. <laughs> all right. So, what game mechanics am I tired of? Oh, what annoys me when I whenever I, I have to play it? Other people being better than him. <clears throat> yeah, sucking at games. That's what mechanic he hates. Um, bullet hell sequences. It, when so they're like, in uh, a game that doesn't normally. Yeah. Okay. Like it, would it count as a mechanic if it's a if it's a a game? That or it's a it's a mechanic that doesn't belong in that game, like a so as long sequence. as it's not like with it. So we're talking if it's not in the game, like those spaceship games. What are those called? Uh, bullet hells. They yeah, are no, what bullet is the hells. name of this? I know. I keep wanting to say like, Rezo Gun, but I know that's not it. Um, what is the name of that game? It oh. Starts with an R, I think. R type, I think. R type, is one of, yeah. yeah. So it's like those, of, yeah, like that. I don't, I don't even like, like those. You're games playing even. a uh, old older school RPG, and suddenly there's a platforming sequence, or it's mm, no. Sometimes they can do it okay, but like I was, I played the Maw. I regret playing that game. That <laughs> that's game, funny. If you want to see Tim, freak that's all out, up on YouTube. Go Yay. check out. Yeah, the freak out in the sense that I go, I hate this. This game sucks. It's, it's <laughs> I never funny. want to play this stupid game again. It's funny. <sighs> it's Apparently, every game it's funny. that has the more difficulty but, than a child's game. <sighs> it is actually a child's game, but they have these stupid bullet hell sequences, and I don't know why. The J Stream says, "I hate escort missions." 
Uh, and Lone loves that, agrees. The the Agreed. only the only acceptable escort mission is in you the guys Last can't of see us. it, but right over there, Bioshock Infinite. The Last of Us. I think Last of Us I as think well. You guys are talking about when you the person you're escorting can actually take care of themselves. Yeah. And they don't just stand out in the middle and try to get themselves killed. Yeah. By and they're invincible too. Zombies. Yes. That's always nice. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. Like Elizabeth and Bioshock. And they don't Infinite get in the way. Ran away. And they're not like helped. walking down the middle of a street lined with snipers or anything. They're just like, I'm gonna go hide behind this counter, and you're like, Good job. You're mm-hmm. not a moron. Yep. As long as they're invincible, that's, that's all I care one. about. That's a very good one. That, yeah. Just so that, and like I said, The Last of Us, Ellie can handle herself very well. She, she and it's helpful all the time when I get myself attacked by clickers. Ellie's got balls of steel. Vagina of steel? All sure. right, all right. She's like 12, so we're going to have to cut that <laughs> we off. We didn't right say we now. wanted to see it. <laughs> no, 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 no. We didn't say we wanted to see it. <laughs> Shutting that down. She's a bunch of pixels, yo. She can have whatever she wants. She's not she even wants. a real person, Caitlin. <laughs> She's a fake robot <laughs> with no emotions. She's dead inside. Literally, there's a virus eating her brain. Sixteen. <laughs> oh, oh man, <laughs> it's the truth. The truth hurts, and it kills you because you're infected. It stings. That's a really good game, though. Is it? Yeah. <laughs> yes, it is. I've played a good. little bit. I've not played enough of that game, and I, Indeed, I regret it. That's, that's like way up there on my PS4. list of amazing games. I don't know why. I'm just, I'm dumb. I you need just to play it. just not a real game. You need to hunker down and actually play it. Whenever he says that, it never happens. Yeah. It's, like, it's all a facade he puts on for you guys. Look, all right. It's like, I, I really am going to give that game a try. That game is going to rot in hell for eternity. And it I'll will play, never I'll be played. I'll play it for a few hours and then never play it again. Yeah, and then he's going to go <laughs> How's that? cry because his game library on Steam is 10 million deep and he's played four. <laughs> I know. I put, like, <laughs> I put like 400 hours into some games and then it's like three hours in this 80-hour exactly. game. You haven't Aww. even started this game. <laughs> you haven't even installed this yep. ever. <laughs> We feel bad for you. Yeah, and then I cry a little. All right, because your Steam thing. Now you're. Turn. Now your turn. What, what, what was game we mechanics? Talking about again? <laughs> game mechanics. You, um, you what game mechanics of, you are you tired of? Game mechanics. I'm tired of. Yes. Cheers. Well, they, everyone's had good ones. Like escort missions, terrible. Yours that doesn't really bother me, but I don't ever even use them. You know, to send them on their missions. Um. God, I don't know. I feel like I haven't even played any games that I even remember. Anything that I even did in the games, George maybe Ed like takes uh, everything that he doesn't like and immediately forgets. Deletes it, <laughs> gone, <laughs> man. It's just like it's not, not a lot, even of, not a lot of storage up there. <laughs> I don't got space for all this crap. Most um, people have a terabyte hard drive. He's got like mm, 128 megs, <laughs> if that. Only for um, the good things. Let's. God, I don't even know, man. I don't even remember what what are some mechanics in games. Give me help me out. And I'll tell you if I hate them or We've not. We've already talked about them. You, it's like everybody named the ones that are terrible. What's left for me? I can't Think just cop it. out and just you be like, like escort missions suck. No, use your damn brain. JD Shizzle says the boss that runs against the wall and then you hit them. The boss that run- what? So like they just run into the wall. That's overdone. He says. Oh, like they're charging at you and then you do a dodge and they hit the wall and then you and just then hit you them. Just they're all them. dazed. Yeah, I agree. Like, like in you the, know, here game mechanic that I can't say stun locking, like oh, you know the moves are just where you don't spam have, them and where you, don't you can't have, even get up or do anything. You don't have because, IFs like exactly. In, um, like, uh, what what game is that? Uh, Dark Souls where mm-hmm. you have invincibility you're just frames. Screwed. You can exactly. roll and you're invincible yeah. while you roll or whatever. Yeah, yeah, that's annoying. Or like that's or annoying. like bosses that just like spam the same move and just you can't do anything. I hate cheesing in uh, in fighters. What little fighters I do play, I hate it when mm. somebody just gets you in a corner and just uses kick over and mm-hmm. over and over again. That's like I was playing Shadow Colossus recently. I beat it actually within my seven day free trial. Very nice. Woo! Um, there was this like the smallest colossal colossi I ever. Is, it's like this little like rhino, not rhino, like a bull kind of thing. And what it does is it knocks you down and then stands next to you and you're on the ground and it takes you like probably like five six seconds before you can stand up and he's just standing and the second you start moving (laughs) back down again and you're just like just leave me alone for five seconds just so you can stand up and even think about moving at all but he just hovers waiting he's like i know you're gonna stand up and i'm gonna do the same shit again and hit you down until you want to kill yourself but uh, i can't stand that 
Do you have Give one me right decent here? mechanics? You, you uh, I, Hers was the Assassin's Creed. Uh, yeah. Oh right, the, yeah. the Do real you time even? One. Are no, you he here he right never now? Never listens to the words yeah, that I say. You know what I never. dislike? People. I dislike <laughs> <laughs> both of you. I dislike it when they limit the amount of money you can get and hold on to. Like the bell limit. Like in Destiny, we're um, talking about Animal Crossing. You Animal can only Crossing. Hold 99, uh, Far bells. Cry. You have to no, actually. Not, you have to build another. Like you have to, you have to craft a new wallet to get more or, money. Or in Zelda, where you have to get the yeah, yeah the bigger wallet. Yeah. The wallets because you can't I hate up. that. That's yeah. annoying. It's like you know what? One thing, money. You, know, you just, just want to be a money back Johnson over here, sure. just earning like seventy bazillion in cash. Who on you cares? You got a credit card, okay? You who care cares? About your it's Zelda. Money credit I don't want realism in my Zelda. Don't make me think about There's managing injury. my funds. I don't want to care about a mortgage and three kids at home and feeding mouths. I don't care. I don't want to deal with it. Oh, God. The fact that you're even carrying money in this universe is already not real. <laughs> so why limit it? Why Jesus. be arbitrary? It's stupid. Oh, God. We got to fight, George? Fist fight? Sure. I looks way too <laughs> excited about that. <laughs> I hate... Uh, no, man. I like... You I like really having hate arbitrary it. money limits? What do you... Uh, I mean, Legend of Zelda, what do you need massive games. amounts of money for in anyway? In Ocarina of Time, you start out with, like, you can get, like, what, 99 rupees? and but then what all do you the... really need money for in because that they're game? Like, you have to buy, you have to buy certain items, like masks and stuff? You don't have to buy them. You do, them. though. Some if of the you want to get 100% buy. completion, sure. Yeah. You don't have to buy them. You're a hater. I'm not a hater. You're a hater. I'm just a participator. <laughs> Really? Did that I just happen? I, just, I was just I didn't know what I was going with. Anyway, but you don't even freaking need money. I'm pretty sure you can beat the entire <laughs> game not a hundred percent completion, but without having to find every wallet and get nine hundred and ninety nine rupees. Still okay. dumb. Uh, J D Shizzle says, I'm with the gray top guy in Far Cry. It limits it for the growth of the character I feel and it and I like that not in all games though. I, I guess am, am I the gray charged. top or is this the gray top? The, this, this is white. Look, but yeah, but this is. But what he was saying, talking this about Tim. the wallet this is gray, or Tom. That's what I'm saying. And <laughs> Tim, that's George. Don't call me Tom. Call or wait, everyone's. What do they call me? me? Don't they just call me the gay guy? Yeah, or, the yeah. gay guy or the guy. Tom the and right. the gay guy. That's what they call. Me. <laughs> Uh, we have a new yeah, show name. So. Tom. I'm and the, the gay, gay guy who dries people up. Welcome to Tom and the Gay Guy. Sounds like a sitcom. <laughs> that is a sitcom, actually. Is it really? Yeah, I don't watch sitcoms. Are you out of your mind? What's wrong with you? <laughs> Owen Love recommends that you don't fist fight. You duel instead because there are rules. Ah. ah. I'm still in favor. Schwads. Schwads. Your schwads is as big as mine. Whoa. <laughs> I got a small schwad. <laughs> <sighs> this is derailing so quickly. What were we even just talking about? We are talking about um, wallets and games being in Oh, yeah, and Tim complaining about games anyway. Yeah. And I, I can see, I can see how it has has place in some It kind of feels games. like an invisible wall sometimes. Like, you have to get to a certain level or point in the story where you get a wallet unlock, and then, yeah. like, it's an artificially preventing you from moving on. And it's, it's, it's lame. Make I guess it, real it depends challenge. on if money really makes a difference in the game or not. Mm, whether you know, you're just buying random yeah, stuff like if it's, you don't even yeah, need. Yeah, if it, if it really doesn't make a difference in the game, then you should just be able to have whatever. It doesn't yeah. matter. But if it's, you know, helps with the story pacing, yeah. you know, maybe you can't get as far until you find this, and then it, you finding this forces you into another part of the story, then, you know, it might work. I just don't... I but just, like I was saying, I, just, I feel like the money doesn't really matter. Like most mechanics, I think a studio could do it right and can do it bad. Yeah. So. It, can, it, it just feels lazy sometimes. That's, That's like all. what we were talking about with the quick time events. Yeah. You know, they can be yeah, good they're, they're or used they lazy, can just be they're used shoved lazily in there a lot. to just... They're used lazily a lot. To fill space. Yeah. They're used, they're used as a crutch, I think, sometimes. More often than not, yeah, yeah I'd have to agree. But sometimes, like I said, they're good. Like they in can um, be. The Order. Yeah. Yeah. That's pretty good. So what what game mechanic do you want to see more of? Didn't we didn't we talk about that? Did we do that already? We did ones we didn't like. Yeah, we just did oh. ones we didn't like. What do you want to see George more? Starts. We did game topics. We, we did themes, or I thought, right? Yeah, we did yeah. Theme, I said theme, co-op. Topic, but these are mechanics, mechanics, like actual parts of games that make a difference. Minutia, in the game. George. Minutia. God, we're getting Jesus, focused, man. Getting this is focused. focused. Um, game mechanics. I don't. know. Uh, George, George. Wow, we found like, George. At I a feel loss. like we're just uh, we're not broadening our spectrum here. I mean, we, let's pick something that's 
deep and vibrant we can talk about. I feel like we're just picking apart these mechanic sections. Let's let's okay, go for go something for big. It. Let's go then give us something big to talk about. What excites you about the future of gaming? Haven't we already done I'm, this ad nauseum with the E3 stuff, though? That's we no, had that's, we had three episodes on E3 talking about the future. Why does it have to be E3? Is the future because it is the future. It's talking about what's coming. I think out. George wants to talk about a little further in the future than the next two yeah, years. Yeah, I'm not like, talking about the next. Why are you gonna be so cookie cutter, man? <laughs> Jesus, <laughs> we just saw E3 two days ago. Why do we have to talk about more? Come on, let's be broad. Let's escape this teeny box we're walking around in, for God's sakes, man. Please. <sighs> God, I'm not saying let's recap E3 70 more times. <laughs> what about games excites you, not Whoa. what games that are coming George. up that you can't wait for. George. <sighs> <sighs> Sorry. God. <laughs> Holy, Holy crap, man. Jesus, you all man. right? <laughs> Almost just had an aneurysm. <laughs> I God. noticed. Are you okay? Uh, Do you need a minute? I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> good. JD I almost brought the knife. wants to Oof. know uh, what platforms we all typically play on. <clears throat> I own a PS4, and that is it. You have a PC now. You can do some PC games. He never plays PC games with us. I play PC almost I exclusively, I never get but invited I have a PS4. to PC games. And DS. You're That's never on. Joke. You gotta actually well, get on Steam every now and then. Sit and wait and watch for someone to come on. Call welcome, me. You have phones. To the future. <laughs> you know what? Shoot at that. You want a game? Sure, man. Thank God we have phones. You know. <laughs> this, like, you never text me <laughs> because you're the busiest person I know. <laughs> if I text you, be like, nope, doing shit today. Sorry for the next seven days. I'm busy. So, so PC and DS, PC and PC, PC, PC. and <laughs> PS4, PS4 and P PC on a blue of PC. Moon. Exactly. All right. So, what are we? What are we looking forward to for the future of gaming? I'm ready for a complete suck your brain out VR, like sort out online style, where you can get trapped in it forever and die. That I'm ready Wait, for that. I don't I'm want ready the die for that. part. I am so ready to just plug me into a game and leave me there. Oh God. I don't know. I horrible. think. I think. I not think, that kind of game. I think uh, some kind of well, a middle not, ground. You might enjoy that kind of game. I think a middle ground between VR and Hololens is going to be where future the future of gaming. No, goes. I don't want. I don't want the real world anywhere in my games. Forget it. Just stay away. I think future v or VR is pretty exciting. I'm just wondering how. Um, I think to make it more immersive, I'm wondering how we can get movement into there. I'm not talking like full on like see, that's, Wii see, that's Motion why I Plus like thing. The ones that like plug into your brain or something and then you make your brain think that you're moving but well if we're going that far well then moving. we're going to be this is going to be wally we're all going to be 400 pound floaters and <laughs> i'm okay with that 400 pound uh, beasts and robot chairs but <laughs> me one i would i would know, i remember hearing something about um like a first person shoes with vr where you'd put on this vest and it had like feedback like if yeah. you're getting shot i think that's a really cool have you idea. have you seen the have saying, you seen the videos yeah, of the, the ones where run. they actually have the moving walkway the on the, but, yeah the omni platform and you actually run i haven't seen a video i think i saw platform. like a picture of a guy like holding gun standing one of really those really awkward though because it's like you're in an upside down bowl and then you're just like running along the edges of the bowl. i was i, I was like always wondering really how unnatural. that would work like if it would be like a sphere like a mouse wheel you know but upside down and that's how you'd walk around Something like that because yeah. you got to be able to get full 360 motion to make it immersive but they just don't look all that comfortable and I'm wondering how good, like I've personally never used an Oculus, so I'm really wondering how how responsive it is to you actually Oculus? moving. Yeah, any kind of VR headset. I haven't tried really? any of them. I really want to try it. I don't get a uh, 3D motion sick like he does. So <laughs> do I'm you get 3D motion sick? He does. He can't even look at a DS, a 3DS. Not for long. Really? It gives me really bad. Well, I think the, I think the 3DS right now. The, I can't play. The you have to like really perfectly the angle it. The new 3DS is much better. Is have it? You seen okay. It? No, I haven't used it yet. It, but it's actually pretty impressive. It was, I, I went and played with it at Best Buy the other like day. Like it was, I really liked it when you happened to be in the perfect angle to yes. see the 3D. Well, it wasn't the, too the bad. The viewing angle is much better now. Okay, because yeah. uh, it Pike, was cool, but I would just turn it off. Pike uh, JSP73 asks, are you guys in the Midwest? No, we are in Florida. 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 America's dong. <laughs> what? Did that it's just true. come out of your mouth? Yeah, it I came ain't... out of her mouth. <laughs> America's dong. Yeah, at least yeah, we, we had a big dong. <laughs> Relatively, <laughs> really, because America it probably might be yeah. like six inches. It's, it might it's, be average. It's a, it's, it's, a, be it's a dong full of people. <laughs> full of <laughs> we're assholes. the semen of America. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, America's semen. Woo 
I'm, Man. I'm ashamed that I yeah, just said that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, back on motion VR. Uh, JD Shizzle says VR headsets, but still controllers, not motion control. Like turn your head and stuff, but you still move sticks to run and turn. He finds that more immersive. I'm gonna have to agree. I think that you can get pretty immersive now with what? talk more into the microphone. You can get shove it closer in your mouth hole. There you go. <laughs> you get pretty now the immersive. views are gonna go up. <laughs> <laughs> now with just a keyboard exactly. and a mouse. So I feel like. The headset and then a keyboard and a mouse would be plenty immersive. You don't need to actually run around, mm. or, in mm. my opinion. I hate running, so... You don't think, though, if you're running in an that. actual game and it was... I'll just lay down and die. Uh, I think, I think like, it would I'm be... I'm just too tired to run away so, anymore. It would be so BA to be in a war zone and just be like, Oh my god! And just be running around. It'd be I would crazy. lay down I, and die. I would just get eaten by zombies. I would probably running. get in shape if... if it, Depending on the experience, if it was really... Well done. It has to be really VR well done for you. That, that's it? what I mean. It, like <laughs> if, like it was really responsive and everything worked good, and, and I, I would like to wear that vest too. You know that has the feedback for when you're in shot. Right. I think that would be really fun yeah. to actually, you know, really if you're getting shot, you can full on turn around. But I don't know how responsive they are. Right. Like how much yeah, is delay for when you move your head right. to when it actually moves? Well, it's it's really. <sighs> Because it's still pretty much in its infancy, really. Right. It's right very now. Uh, well, and that that's that's what makes that question so hard. Is there's just so many Looking different so directions far into the that gaming could go. Because <laughs> it is, it's still a young medium mm -hmm. comparatively with any other art form. I mean, movies were have been around since the early 1900s, mm -hmm. and and you know, traditional art has been around before that. Comics are out before that. You know that sort of stuff. So we're still really, really young comparatively. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So probably when we get closer to you know having gaming be a hundred years old, we'll have things a little more figured out. But mm -hmm. you know we're still playing around with motion sensing and screens on controllers and you know things Don't like that. Don't do that again, Nintendo. Please, yeah. God, please. I I admire their uh, their willingness to just throw themselves at weird ideas, though. Yeah. Because something will. Stick one of these days. Someday. Someday they'll come up with a really amazing idea. <laughs> After annoying the crap I out just, of their core fan base. <laughs> yeah, no one's tried because they were Be innovative, to... but not in this next console, please. <laughs> just Please just give just me an N64 give us the GameCube basics. and just... I yes. don't want to move anymore. The basics. I want to be able to just play a full high-def Legend of Zelda game. So, with the power of the, PlayStation in the future, 4. <laughs> in the future, I think Google will make a console. Do you you really, think really? I think they're already stretching themselves a little. I think they'll enter the console market because you don't think they'll just don't. buy up something. No, I don't think they will. I think they'll enter the race. I think uh, Apple will make an attempt. I think anything that's that these big much, companies man. do, it's too many. Be, like, um, I'm just saying. I think that's really the way it's going. Fast, I mean, you know? look at look mm. at. Well, now isn't like the Steam Machine coming out soon? It's just like, just and the Steam like Machine really enables wanna... a lot of. And I think I think that maybe we'll see more variation on Steam Machines. Maybe we'll see. Uh, if you can count the Steam Machine as a console, yeah, I don't know if you can. Three consoles is already but, too many to have I mean, to deal I think, with. I think, Imagine five. I think, know, Origin, I think Origin, uh, EA will eventually want to come out with their own thing once their game oh, library expands no. more. It's EA, man. They're, they're, they I really so, hope they don't. They're so thirsty. I don't know They just why. need a tank because if they do, it's just too um, much already. JD Shizzle says he has to go to bed for work now, but he likes us and he'll subscribe. Keep up the good work. How often do you do these game chat show combos? Thank you so Thanks much. Thanks for hanging out, man. JD we appreciate Shizzle, we it. We appreciate yeah. that. So uh, we do this every... This this specific show is Monday nights at 6.30 p.m. Eastern Time. We go until about 8 o'clock uh, Eastern Time. And, um, yeah, we, we really appreciate the, the kind words. We really do. Um, uh, I, I stream on this channel just about every day except for Tuesdays, um, depending on what's going on in life. But I try to stream a little bit every day. Um, George is going to be working on getting on there, and we're going to be hosting his his channel, which we'll be posting up uh, in the panels down below. Um, but uh, yeah, every every Monday, um, unless you know disaster unforeseen strikes, events. yeah, unforeseen circumstances, we will be doing it. But you can keep an eye if you're really interested on our our Twitter or our Facebook, and we try to post when we go live on those. C W a bunch of numbers says that is one manly beard. I'm Thank you. Sure he's talking to George. Oh, it can't be this oh, squirrel tail over here. But I like my beard. This rat nest. You get? No, I'm just kidding. I'm sorry. And, I can't uh, disgrace any you're protein. You're a D-bag. I appreciate any beard. Pike GSP says, Witcher is the dirty Zelda. 
<laughs> that's a good. That's I an like interesting. That. Uh, I like that. that I didn't is, even, I've never thought of that, but that's but it, pretty that accurate. Is. It's pretty accurate. I not gonna lie. Witcher. God, it's so good. But yeah, uh, JD Shizzle, thank you so much for joining us, and you have a good night. We yeah, appreciate you. Yeah, yeah, appreciate you, and we appreciate all you guys listening. So thank you guys so much for hanging out with us. We're having a good time. So <sighs> the Witcher's so good. The Witcher. The, I, I can't wait to get it. I still Speaking don't have it. I heard that the uh, played a little bit next it, expansion but. that's coming out for The Witcher is supposed to be as big as Witcher 2. Yeah. As big as the entire game. I Witcher heard it's going to be huge, yeah. Which is exciting because... CD uh, Projekt Red is doing everything right. I, yes. Good job to CD Projekt Red, and, man. They and are, they, you know, they, they, they run um, GOG, good old games. And you know what's something I really appreciated that they did, too? Is in every copy of The Witcher game, you got a little, like, red card that thanked you for buying their game and thanked you for, you know... Thanks for follow. I think that's probably him. Yeah, thanks him. for the follow. Yeah. Appreciate it. Um, thanking you for buying, you know, spending your hardcore, your hard-earned money on their game, and how, um, you know, you appreciating them means so much. I mean, I thought that was a really awesome touch to put that in and let your, your consumers know how much you actually care about them. You know, Rather even just a just little other text. companies that might exactly. or might not have two letters in their name that just shit on their customers. Yeah. Literally Which, take shit. On now, them. said company with two letters in their name has okay. gotten better under their new CEO. They've okay. gotten much better. I, I will accept that they have room for improvement and they can be They improved. do have a lot of room for improvement, but man, and their new CEO is scads better than, than and, their old yeah, one. At least they're trying more than they were trying. You know what I mean? Yeah. It could have just been still spiraling down. The yeah. Stoned Ape says, what's up, guys? What hey, up, man? Stoned Ape, how's it going? Thanks for uh, coming to hang out. We appreciate you. So we're we're right now kind of uh, kind of just discussing whatever whatever comes to mind and uh, in gaming. So if you guys have anything that you find fascinating or want to hear our take on, just uh, go ahead and pop it into the chat there and shoot uh, some discussion man, topics we're, out. We're all about it, man. We're all about it, and uh, we're gonna be here till um, round eight. It's seven twenty-seven our time right now, so we have about thirty minutes left. So feel free to shoot whatever at us. Um, as long as it's not guns, uh, well, or spears, unless it's yeah. yes, no spears and no spears unless there pugs. are pugs. Yeah, well, oh. if there's p- <laughs> <laughs> so um, yeah, we uh, you know we're we're really we're really having a good time doing the show, and we're we're trying uh, to come up with um, new things to do. So just as an FYI for those of you listening, if you guys didn't catch it, next week we're gonna have. The chiptune artist uh, Ben Burns, aka Abstraction, on the show as our special guest. Very exciting. He's a cool guy. He was um, one of our first guests that we had on the show way back in the day when we were just a YouTube show, and now we are live streaming. You remember those days when you didn't want to do anything live, and I was like, "It wasn't that long ago." (laughs) It was like (laughs) three episodes ago. Really wasn't that long ago. (laughs) And so he's going to join us, and uh, we're going to listen to some of his new music. Uh, He's he's been doing music for. Uh, indie game studios and uh, he did the music for a game called The Maker's Eden um, part 1 and 2 or act 1 and 2 Kip and to God says hello Hey Kip to God thanks for hey, coming hey, hey, appreciate girl. you oh boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Hey, hey boy oh girl oh, alright all right, enough <laughs> girl boy lady boy <laughs> alright it's not okay <laughs> I can't discriminate I have to cover all my bases <laughs> there you go you gotta play it safe. That man. name was not descriptive enough for me to know their gender, mm. not or their lack matters. thereof. <laughs> like, like, like that, like that. <laughs> so, <laughs> so how excited are you about Disney controlling the Star Wars game scene? Here we go. <laughs> Why you gotta bring that up? Here we go. <laughs> Why you gotta do? Well, see. My Let's problem, not talk about the movies because I already here, that's going to be bad. Here's my thing. Let's I talk about the game. I don't know how much control Disney is placing on EA and how much leeway they're giving EA. That's my problem. I don't know if they told EA you have full access to everything, make us a cool game, or if they said we want a game that does exactly this, 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 and this. Mm-hmm. Like I don't know how involved or how uninvolved they are. Mm-hmm. So you know, I I have a lot of. I'm putting some trust in EA here, and I've been. We had this discussion a while back about the the new Star Wars Battlefront, how people were writing it off before they even had gameplay out. Now that they, we've seen E3, we had a lot. <laughs> they were like writing it off from the one trailer with the foot going. Yeah, like, oh, this game's gonna suck. Yeah, and they were like, "No space battle." Reactionary this is gamers stupid. are reactionary. EA game is sucks. Yeah. EA's ruining Star Wars. Mm. Oh man, I was so mad. 
Uh, Pike JSP says, I'm tired of hearing about new games, but then they don't come out until three years later. Yeah, yes. release schedules. They, they need to start doing the um, Bethesda technique. Pull the Fallout hey, 4. Hey, this is Fallout 4. It's coming out tomorrow. Yeah. What? Six <laughs> months. Six <laughs> months, man. Like, That's all you need for all, the hype. It was a collective train. orgasm yes, when right. that happened. It was. Like, it was intense, too. Like, I here's mean, this almost finished game we have. Yeah. Uh, we just got to... And then, and then they're like, off, and, and, then they're like oh, and by the way, Fallout Shelter available tonight. Yeah, exactly. And everyone's just like, oh, oh <laughs> Jesus, <laughs> get <laughs> back. Santa's here. <laughs> oh, the world is this awesome. This is my new guy. Are you paying attention, Square and X? <laughs> it's like that. We we need more of that. Oh, mm-hmm. and um, FYI, three months, two weeks, six days, four hours, and 29 minutes. Fallout 4. He Fallout 4. Oh, yeah. Anyway, so. um, Wait, hold on, hold on. Okay. Well, now that we're on that. Are you gonna wear your Pip Boy while you play? Fuck. Yeah, yes. I'm gonna use it. <laughs> are you? No, are you not? Are you gonna use? <laughs> where's it? Where's the swear jar? I'm the, the, sorry. You got it. No swear. I got That's excited. how I know I did a good this. job when Caitlin dropped the f bomb with joy. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> <laughs> it's this, gonna be this fucking to, amazing. This has to go on iTunes. Come on, they are very strict over I'll there. I'll bleep it out. Later. I, I don't mean just the app. I mean, are you gonna wear the full blown actual Pip yeah. Boy and be like and this? Yeah. I, I will it. not take that thing off for like oh, six I'm months. Gonna sleep it's just gonna like fuse to your arm. I'm gonna wear it everywhere around town. <laughs> to breakfast, to the gym. People, people are going to be like, what time is it? Let me console my pit boy. Uh, exactly. Oh, by the way, my arm's broken right yeah. now. <laughs> I'm in crippling pain. <laughs> Better inject myself. Awesome. The, awesome. the J-Storm wants to deal spice in a new Star Wars game. Mm. For some reason, I don't think uh, Disney's going to allow it you to be been, a drug, I feel uh, like intergalactic uh, drug dealer. I feel like you would have like been able to do happen. that in 1313. Yeah, probably. Now, can we get back to what I was talking about? Oh, sorry. Go ahead and rage. I didn't get to finish. My, I didn't get to finish. All right, so. <laughs> That's my problem. Now, I hate to say I told you so to all those people. He loves it. All but those after Stupid seeing, <laughs> after seeing fif- the fifteen minute gameplay and all the gameplay we saw come out at E three, um, he had to change his underwear. I want to say, <laughs> I told you so. <laughs> uh, in your face, in your face. See, the the thing is, is there are so many people that were just almost downright panicking. Just they like were just bashing like, it. So they were bad. like, oh, they removed space battles and so many of the basic things. Um, they're kind of in there in a different way. I mean, uh, yeah, I'm sorry the game wasn't copied and then pasted into a new system. Sorry. Right. Well, you know, I mean, it's like, people were complaining about space battles because, oh, interplan- or inner orbit battles wouldn't be any good. Uh, after seeing the gameplay, you got plenty of room. You got plenty to see. You got plenty to do. It is gorgeous. It is buttery smooth. And like I've been saying from the beginning, this is just the beginning, people. Yeah. And I mean, uh, it's so true. Hello, it's so I true. doubt for one second that they're never gonna have DLC exists, even yep. if it's not in the first game. Which I doubt it won't. If 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 it's not, it's gonna be there eventually because people tend to listen to what yeah. people ask for. I mean, they just they can they can't change the scope of the game completely just because people are like, oh, I don't know, space battle. Oh, screw you! I can't you. play it exactly as I played the first <laughs> game. Cookie got the exact scene. Yeah, like, come I, on, man. It's it's gonna be so. Good. I, I after seeing couch co op split screen. Did you hear about that? No, I didn't. It's yeah, I have couch co op split not on screen. PC though, but on consoles you'll be able to split screen and just Good. play then with Good. Then I a can friend. come over and we can play together. There you go. Yeah. I'm, I gotta get it. Sweet. I gotta get it on two platforms too, though. I gotta get it on PS4. I'm getting it on PS4 first. Yes. Because get, you already one. one more. There you go. <laughs> and then I'm gonna get it on PC because full on graphics and mods and all that stuff. Too bad you don't have a 4K monitor. I really would like to just watch oh, that in 4K. Dude. Someday. Like, someday I'll have a 4K monitor. Drool. Dear Twitch stream, please buy me a 4K monitor. <laughs> For Christmas, I would Sincerely love. Sincerely me. Yeah, because it's not going to happen unless someone gives him one. It literally <laughs> looks so good, though. Uh, yeah. It's going to be amazing. It's going to be really good. And like we were talking earlier, too, like, how they're uh, reusing that engine for another Star Wars project for thirteen? Yeah, 13. the the thirteen that thirteen engine me. is supposed to be reused because into another when I Star first Wars saw game. that game coming out, you know, wait, they didn't not coming out, but talking about it, I was like, this is what I've always wanted from the Star Wars is a more gritty, just dark story from Star oh, Wars, yeah. you know, and just uh, it, that's, I was that's like, what all the awesome. that's what just about every fan who grew up on Star Wars has been waiting for is mm-hmm. something a little more adult and. Something grittier to really pull you in and make mm-hmm. you feel like 
It there's, really there's, is a dangerous there's, world. There's you know? more to this world than just Jedi mm-hmm. and fluffy kittens and rainbows. Yeah. It's you know, I mean, it's it's not what happened in the, just what happened in the movies. There's just, there's bounty hunters. There's scum yeah. of the universe. And like uh, the first time, I felt like it was more towards that vein was uh, the Force Unleashed. Those were really awesome um, games. And the, you got to see old, like a whole. The Old Republic does an okay job of that. So did the, the Star Wars: The Old Republic as well. Mm-hmm. But I mean, that more focused on an era that we haven't that we haven't really seen. And I, I want to see more of that that grittiness that's offered up in the in the in the more the movie eras mm-hmm. between Clone Wars and um, the new you know Episode Seven. Mm-hmm. Devious Furball says it ain't gonna happen. Well, at least not until I win the lottery and buy myself a few 4K monitors. Yeah. <laughs> so get on that lottery, Devious exactly. Furball. I hope you're playing. We'll be waiting for our eagerly. 4K and uh, and I'd like you. to give a shout out to Devious Furball. I, uh, I I've had the honor of playing some uh, some Dirty Bomb with the guy. It's a lot of fun. So uh, shout out. Hey, Furball, how's it going? How's it going, man? I never met you. <laughs> so I'm gonna um, start playing Dirty Bomb. But um, Furball. Win the lotto and and buy me a four K monitor, man. Get on oh, it. He agreed. Too, please. This is uh, legally binding, right? Yeah, this Quick is chat. Yeah, legally binding. <laughs> we said it on stream, so therefore it's legally it. binding. <laughs> signed it with your voice. Because if you don't, I'm suing. <laughs> <laughs> For when you hit the lotto, and if you don't, don't buy worry, it, we it. can't afford that. No, yeah. I can't None get. Can. I can't afford to get litigious. That's a big word. It is. Man. I just went there. It was like the. Was that the right word? Though? Yes, litigious. It, I think you're missing a few letters. No. Okay. I think you're being you facetious. That's all I got. I'm, di- I'm <laughs> dyslexic, so don't ask me to spell anything. Yeah, well, you, and I'm just you have no dumb. idea what you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> and did you ever finish your rant, though? Yeah, yeah. You finished it. Oh, I, finished I said it. I said I told you so. Oh. <laughs> okay. He I don't want to talk about Star Wars. He did a lot. <laughs> he did so much. <sighs> Anybody besides me excited for the next Kingdom Hearts game? No. No, nah, not particularly. No. I, I never got into Kingdom they Hearts, so I, I can't... years too late I, for that. I cannot... I can't honestly say either way that I like or dislike it. I've never played it. So I can't be excited about a game I've never played. Honestly. I, I'm just... I really don't know anything well, about it. I guess we'll it. move on from that. What about 7? Anybody for 7? Final Fantasy 7, anybody? Anyone? No, I'm also not excited for that because God. it's the worst Final Fantasy. You are. I like, said it. I'm not I even said it. I you. I hope a lightning bolt strikes you right now, <laughs> strikes you down, because it's going to be amazing. What is happening? I want to be a part of this. Uh, somebody's spamming the chat. Oh my gosh! What the heck, guys? Come on now! Spamming the chat. What is wrong with you? Yay! Okay, I timed them out. They're not in the chat no more. Sweet. Sorry, guys. It removes it from the chat too. So. Yay! Perfect. So we can we'll actually read what's going madness. on. Hooray! Madness. Okay. Anyways, so um, so yeah, I I just I I no offense, but I just can't get I just don't know enough about Kingdom I think Hearts you except should, that it's I think like it's the, worth a try. You should at least play the first one. If you, I don't know how much of a it's Disney just, fan you are, it's just I'm, don't it, get me wrong. I'm not like a huge Disney fan or anything. I'm not like praying to the. Li- it was little, really revolutionary at the time when it first came out, and it was really something important special for that community and then mm. two was like amazing and great but then they just lost steam they just they put out a million well, well, I, you know what? I never even hearts one half drop three, down dream distance dream quantum distance, jumps alpha <laughs> numeric six, five, beta. Dash, i literally played <laughs> zero of those i went I, one two Nothing Stop. else. Dream, and because wasn't it like none of them were a sequel. Drop, none of them were like the dream next drop d- distance yeah. or something like that. Omega and, Ruby. And they came out with a ton of those, and they yeah. just saturated their storyline so much that it it reads like a bad. And they're like prequel, sequel, fiction, prequels, yeah. and it's just like a really weird. I haven't played any of them but one and two, and that's it. Yeah, because none of them to me were a real sequel to Kingdom Hearts. It was all like weird side things or like pre-stories that weren't even like with the two so it's just like no no I'll wait for the third one that's why I'm excited for the third one because I feel like this is what it's supposed to be of course not double dream drop quantum is gonna take 16 million years to release anything actually (laughs) you know I'm excited about uh 15 is it 15 (laughs) bro road trip is that what it is yeah it's a road trip 
Oh, okay, I'm not because it didn't have like a name, and then it was hey, called something Puddle else. Puddle Stomper, thanks for spamming us, and also thanks for the follow. We appreciate yeah, it. Please don't spam anymore. <laughs> <laughs> thanks for following. Me. Don't spam. <laughs> yeah, I I didn't ban you. I just I just timed you out. So we still we still love you. We just don't love having massive spam. walls of text that we can't read or do anything um, with. Do, for fifteen, do you really need to know? Is it its own thing? They're all or? they're all their own. Okay, so there's no link. Okay, all right, so you could just jump right into it. and It makes no difference. It, right, it's right. looking really good. It's looking really good and mechanically and yeah, story the, like and character design. Seeing. Although I have problems with character design, we won't get into that. <laughs> um, from what <laughs> yes, I've seen, just the combat that. seems pretty cool. I like that change of pace of combat from a normal Final Fantasy game. They yeah. are doing a, some interesting. They're adding elements of. Uh, FPS in there oh. for people who one of the characters that'll be interesting uses a gun that you can go first person in and attack yeah. monsters. So I like how uh, like mid fight stuff. you can change your sword too. It's like you mm-hmm. they do different things for the different weapons. And I always love games that take it out of like turn based for Final Fantasy because that's I really that was my least favorite part I liked about Final Fantasy is turn based because I right I don't like have I like to act right then and there, you know? I want yeah. to be able to dodge when I dodge. So or you like, hit yeah, you when like I the hit, action you know? RPG style Yeah, I don't more. like, uh, have, you know, you have to plan, okay, now that I got hit 20 times, I got to heal style. rather than, right. you know, I'm going to dodge this rather than my dodge being high and then I have a, you know... A chance. My chance yeah. is me dodging, you know what I mean? That's <laughs> right. what I really like. That's how, yeah, That's so how they're adding bit. it. Is it? Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. I just hit things with broadsword because... You can block and, and I have roll no finesse. and all sorts of stuff, so it's pretty cool. So, uh, yeah. Oh, so see, that's why I think I would is, like that, too, because be it's, yeah. it's an MMO, but it's not right. turn-based. But, yeah, sorry to drag you off topic there. Are you excited about FF7 Remake? Uh, sorry, I just came in my pants a little bit. <laughs> now, of course I am, dude. Are you insane right now? Final Fantasy VII is the best... Final Fantasy game on the planet. No game can compare. All Final Fantasy games suck compared to 7. Yeah, no. No, 10 was pretty good, actually. I did ten, like 10. Uh, 10 was good, 9 I'll was good, you. 8 was good. <laughs> actually, I will lot, fight you right people, here, right now. A lot of people say 6 Let's was go. better than 7. Those people were on crack. <laughs> <laughs> no. I'm like looking you. forward to it because I want to be able to play... Without this. boxy hands. Yeah, I don't want to look like <laughs> I'm like some kind of a stupid toy that comes out of a, a you know coin op machine or mm-hmm. something like i, I want to be able to really see everything in detail it's such a, a big world and there's so rich much to universe, it man. it's oh. very rich and it's it's sad that it's so limited by the times and the new game is mm-hmm. really going to surpass that and i think it's really going to let the game i feel like it'll let the game shine yeah i feel like it'll give it a new life because people who didn't get to play it like you because it's just so terrible I looking play it. I, I played it i played through like to the third disc or mm-hmm. something like that but I, I could never get any further because i was pretty young when i played it and then i, I lost think that interest, that so. kind of opens a big can of worms for them though because okay they've done this remake of seven but where's the remakes for the rest of them when are you going to stop remaking games and focus on the new games right it's mm-hmm. kind of a touchy subject well yeah it's it's a little bit of a double I think a lot of fans have asked for it too that's probably yeah. mainly why they're even going for it yeah and I, I don't know how many have asked I mean, for if you the look, other games they, they, though, they redid say. final fantasy 10 um they did oh, yeah, the hd remake, remake of that before of 10 that and 10 too wasn't because it? that was just a port well, well it was already 3d but i mean look at final fantasy 9 and 8 those are already 3d and they're they look pretty good still they hold up okay they and all they'd have better. to do oh, is God, really 7 does not hold up no not at all. 7 doesn't eight, at all 8 does i re- recently eight does. played 8 again. 9 really if, does i think 7 would hold up if it had the graphics it did when you're fighting because when you're actually in a fight you look thousand oh, it times so better, better than the actual game when you're just yeah. like walking around the environment looks Horrible. The environments were beautiful though because oh, they yeah. did those the hand painted the, mm-hmm. the hand painted scenery and mm-hmm. it was like just a like a mat behind it and you walked around on the mat. It was really cool. I liked that. So I have a question. Yeah. Game, game remakes in in general. Like, what other games would you like to see remade from way back? Um, Battle Toads. That would be sweet. Yeah, Battle, <laughs> Battle Toads. Dude, our, our, our retro <laughs> rewind to that was brutal, dude. Oh, God. We killed each other so many so times. Bad. It was Co-op so Corner, bad. actually. Wasn't yeah. It? Yeah, that was that was painful. You, I think we killed actually, each other. Actually, no, another one, too, Gauntlet. Do you remember Gauntlet, like Gauntlet Legends and then Gauntlet for N64? Yeah, yeah. So they they remade fun. Gauntlet Legends, I think, for Did uh, they? Mo- for Xbox or Xbox 360. They remade it. I think that was Gauntlet Legends, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, I think it was Legends. I'm, yeah, I want to see like a full... Actually, I think I saw a game that's coming out like that. I don't think it's Gauntlet, but... Uh, I can't remember what it's... But it's in that same kind of vein of like four-player, oh, top-down. To what do I want to see remade? 
And it's a it's a remake. Uh, that's such a hard Either question. Either updated because... graphics or updated play style <sighs> or more modern mechanics or Sim Tower. It was one of my favorite games, and uh, it was actually one of the inspirations for XCOM. What's the difference of Sims Tower than any other Sims well, game? Well, there's a lot of Sim games. I mean, I'd like to see Sim Ant remade like, as I mean, well. like, what's Sim... What's Ant? the difference between Sim Tower and Sim City? It's so like, Sim you just Tower, focus on one tower? Yeah, so Sim Tower was a game where you would... Imagine, like, Fallout Shelter a little bit. It, it, Fallout Shelter took inspiration from Sim Tower. Mm. So you have like you have a building, a tower that goes up and up and up infinitely and um it's just frozen there. I think we're still streaming, so I think we're all right because if if we're still moving there. Um but um you have a tower and you could build up and up and up and you'd have like you could build movie theaters, parking garages, um, all sorts of stuff. Thanks for following and Dinosaurx. Thank you. Yeah, Thanks thank you so much we for the follow. It. We appreciate you. Um, but you'd build up and up and up, and you could pretty much build up to, I think, 99 floors or 100 floors or something. Mm. And so you're building Stark Tower. No, I'm just <laughs> something like that, yeah. <laughs> but you could actually build, like, apartments and um, and condos and business uh, lots. Oh, for, so, like, like each floor could be different. Yeah, and you would, so you would draw like money for all that. all buildings in Japan. Yeah, more or less. But <laughs> So the idea is that I'd love to see that remade because the game is just a simple 2D flat game. Mm-hmm. And it'd be nice to see it, not necessarily 3D, but with updated visuals and less limits because it was limited because of computer limitations. Now, would you then. be able to handle if it looked like Fallout Shelter, like that cartoony yeah, style? Yeah, I'd be fine but with that. Just yeah, the... I'd be okay with that. Oh, I mean, okay. I, I, just, I just really crave for it to you know, be, see some new life. Mm-hmm. Um, Sim Ant as well. Uh, Sim Ant was where you actually built an ant colony. That sounds and pretty. You cool. played as an ant, and you would gather food, or you would, um, and then you go, go ant to, simulator. Nineteen eighty two. You could go to <laughs> war with other colonies, That's and cool. you'd have to eliminate them, and you'd have to avoid like the lawnmower running you over from the. Mm-hmm. the that makes me think of Honey I Shrunk morbid. the Kids. <laughs> it's so cool. It was a fun game. So Devious Furball says um, on the topic of Final Fantasy VII. I just don't want them to go all crazy with it. I want it to be good, but I know they're going to pull their usual Square Enix bull and do something silly. I really, That's I what honestly, we love about Square Enix. We <laughs> yeah. love them and we hate it's them. It's so true. I though. really just want them. It literally could be the exact same game. It won't be. If it if it was the exact same game, like you did the same things, went to the same places, same story elements happen, and it was just like look like it is now. Yeah totally okay with that I would feel be like, like that would be perfect there's a lot of things that probably ended up on the cutting room floor because they just didn't have the processing power for it mm-hmm. i think well, they have a great opportunity to lot, add that back and in from now. My, and if they did that i would be okay with it as long as the core is still well and there are there are some, like some there are weird. some there are some site gags that involve the limitations where they like made fun of how blocky everybody was or the mm-hmm. fact that wearing a dress looks like wearing regular clothes oh, or whatever yeah. i just had the thought that the uh, <laughs> The localization will have a second chance to completely destroy itself. Yeah, okay. it's and it'll probably be fully voice acted, mm-hmm. so they'll have to be very careful with their voice actors yeah. because, uh, from what I understand, from I mean, from what I've seen, they made Cloud into a very moody kind of like emo emo kind of, yeah. kind of character when he was a pretty like badass super soldier, mm-hmm. and you know you'd be a little moody too if you went through all the crap he went yeah, through. But exactly. I mean, overall, I I feel like. They'll make some changes because they're going to have to because of, you know... It probably won't just work the same the way. It won't flow the same way as it... But I I feel like they'll... I have a hunch they're going to keep the same kind of, like, camera, like, fixed camera type thing, but make everything fully 3D. I don't Mm -hmm. think that they're going to go, like, do anything too outlandish. Where it was Devil like May a cry, where it was still it was a 3D environment, but you had a fixed camera, and then you yeah, moved well, around. And when you went off the side of the screen, you went to a different environment. Oh, not Resident yeah, Evil style, please God, not, no. No, the the newer DMC. Oh, okay. No, Devil the, May cry. the okay. kind of I'm I'm talking keep the same exact way they did the camera. Oh, so where it was like kind of up and it, above. It, instead of mats, they would use a real 3D environment yeah. around it. Mm-hmm. And I find that a little hard because then you're limited in like, well, I should be able to walk around this box, but I can't. Like, the Tales games do a full 3D environment really well. I think they should probably do something like that. Mm. And I'm just excited to see all, like, the summons and limit breaks. Oh, that'll be and cool. all the special yeah, moves that everybody that gets stuff. to do. That's as long as you can sweet. turn it off so you don't have to spend 30 minutes watching limit break go. <laughs> oh, God, I would want to. <laughs> like just, a Dragon Ball Z episode. Yeah. That's like just a, turn on the limit break <laughs> and then go make yourself a sandwich because you'll yeah, be there a while. Like, <laughs> what is that one? There's, like, a, one that's, like, super hard. I think it's called, like, Knights of the Round Knight, or something yeah. like that. 
Or that's like a whole movie going, dude. You got to watch like twelve different guys. <laughs> one guy flies, and one guy comes. One of them, one of them's, one of them's like, galloping on a horse exactly. from another kingdom. It's exactly. like twenty minute sequence He's just of shooting him arrows <laughs> for like five. And then when he gets there, they finally all land. Just, and they high five <laughs> and share a beer, and <laughs> they're just like, yeah. Well, it, uh, I just, I'll watch them the the one time just to and turn see how good they look. I'm know? sure they'd have it's the ability to turn it off. They usually do. Or just skip right yeah, to like the, that, the but end. That's a, that's a modern thing that wasn't yeah. there, so it's, right. mm-hmm. it's definitely interesting potential. So, I'm hopeful. We have just ten minutes left, so unfortunately, we're gonna wrap it up a bit here. Oh, oh! But um, Aww. we we really appreciate all of you guys joining us. Thanks this for week. the follows too. We appreciate yeah, it and, always. And if you didn't get a chance to hit that follow button, uh, it'll let you know next time that either I'm live on the stream, which I stream every day but Tuesdays, and you know if things get in the way, I, I won't stream. But overall, I'll stream just about every day. Um, and then we're here Mondays from six thirty. So three months from now, on the nineteenth, we're not doing the show. Yeah, so remember that. I'll be gone. Oh, what did uh, what did Furball say down there? Um, on the remakes, Syndicate is being remade, kinda with Satellite Rain, Wing Commander three fourths, three three and four, three yeah. and four is being remade, kinda with Star Citizen. So I'm kind of covered. Yeah, those are actually those are all really good games that I, I really enjoy because um, Wing Commander was awesome. I think was it four that had Mark Hamill in it? Oh, so. Cool. I Mark Mark Hamill. Hamill. Yeah, Luke Skywalker. Ah, and the Joker. Yeah, he's the Joker, the the, the best Joker. Oh my gosh, yeah. By far. Yep. Pike so, says goodnight. I enjoy it. Oh, well, thank you so much. Yeah. We appreciate you. you had a good time. So yeah, yeah. Um, if you get a chance, hit that hit that follow button, and uh, you'll be notified next time that we that either um, myself or George is live. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. Every, say, every time you say live, I keep thinking alive. So I'm like, yeah, <laughs> yeah just every case, time we're let alive. you know we're not dead. And we are <laughs> we are around on um, Monday, 6.30 p.m. Eastern Time, right here from Insert Coin Studios, a.k.a. my audio studio. Thank you Thanks so much for the, for the follow, follow, whoever that was. That was Pike. That was Pike. Thank, Thank you, Pike. Pike. We appreciate it. And, um, yeah, we will see you guys next week um, or hopefully sooner if you guys want to come and hang out. Um, we'd love to have you, and we had a great time. And if you have Always any topics... Visit our site, insertcointheater.com. Twitter. Uh, Twitter. Yeah, Twitter, Twitter. Twitter at us or and whatever Facebook, you call that. The Facebook. Yep, and Facebook. We are the on Twitter. those. And feel free to shoot us any ideas you have for topics you'd like to hear. Otherwise, you know, Just we'll come see out, you next week. Just come hang out. Or come hang out and chat with us. Yeah. yeah. Call us names. You know, whatever don't, you want to do. Don't call us names. I have feelings. Aww. I have no feelings. I, I'm dead inside. I am a robot. A robot. I am a robot. All the humans must die. Diana Sorek says, good show from Norwich, England. Oh, well, thank oh, you very much. Time. We appreciate shout it. Shout out. Shout out. Uh, Jerboss, this is my wife, Recky. She joined us. And just to recap, I'm Tim. Not Tom. <laughs> I'm George, not the gay guy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Recky, not GLaDOS. What? Except that is I'm, cool. Somebody called me GLaDOS. The right? cake, the oh, cake is they? a lie. Yeah. Oh, I like that. I... We might have to do that now. <laughs> I need to be the undertake. <laughs> Anyways, we will see you guys next time. And thanks again uh, so much for joining us. And we we love you. You guys are the best. I love you. You guys are the best followers You're the, the reason universe. my heart beats inside this dead shell. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that was that dramatic. Got, that right? got uh, deep <laughs> real quick. Wow. All right. <laughs> <laughs> like how you're done. You anyway. Yeah, we're done. Uh, well, I On guess it's note. time to go. Yeah. Anyway, thanks for watching and uh, have a good one, guys. Salute. Wow, I'm impressed with your strength. I'm super. I thought the chair was gonna explode. Remember, be happy. No.